which is why it's important. Keep your mouth shut. Don't let people know how people treated you in the past, okay? If there's anything that I learned, is definitely how to be independent and remaining independent, especially if you are the oldest daughter, the oldest grandchild in the family, and everyone's depending on you to fix their problems. You have to put yourself first. Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Shidika Ari, and here I love to talk about all things beauty, all things fashion, and dating advice because, listen, that is what life is about. Here's a little bit about me. I am in my 20s. I'm based in Brooklyn, New York, and I technically never had a serious relationship. I feel like I'm spilling too much beans on here, but that's the point, right? Um, yeah, I haven't really had a real serious relationship, but I've dated a lot, meaning I was taken out on a lot of dates, and doing that allowed me to really figure out what I like in the next person and what I don't like which is why it's important to date multiple people at once because I feel like a lot of us have a tendency to not do that because we either feel guilty or we feel like it's not very feminine like but listen how will you know what you like if you don't date multiple people okay being the eldest daughter is not easy I don't care what anyone says I feel like oftentimes a lot of the oldest girls in the family tend to be very masculine because they're the ones who are often dependent on when it comes to finances or emotional support so when we are looking for our partner it's important that we learn how to be soft in these relationships and learn how to embrace our femininity and not be in a relationship that reminds us of our family members because a lot of times I feel like people tend to go where they're familiar with and most of the times doing that is only going to hurt us in the end especially when you're the oldest daughter being the oldest daughter is not for the weak you have people who are emotionally depending on you financially depending on you especially if you're coming from an immigrant background like me and to be honest it's a lot it feels like you are the man of the house like technically i used to fill out college applications and they'd be like who's the head of the household i literally had to put myself because i was the head of the household so yeah, it's not easy. So when it comes to dating, sometimes we need to learn how to just be soft, be feminine, and just let go and let the men take care of everything. I feel like, especially me, I'm very like controlling. I have like compulsive control. I want to, you know, control everything. I want to know how the outcome is. Even though I like to go with the flow. I sometimes like to have things in my control and just do it on my own because I feel like I can do it the best way. But I want to get to a point where I allow someone else to do it for me and I don't have to think about it. Like, yeah, you go take care of it. This is just how I'm going to start maneuvering in this world, especially the dating world. I find myself when I go on dates, oh my God. I used to go on dates and I used to just like test like ways on how people would react if I was to act a certain way. So I would go on a date and I would just complain, 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 like, oh, do this for me and that. And like, literally I would just complain because I really wanted to see if this person would be like, oh, I'll do that for you. But that was a big, big mistake because when you do that, people are gonna be like, oh, okay, let me see what I can get away with because you allow that, you allow that person to do that to you. When you complain about people, it's not gonna make the next person wanna do better. Telling people how people treated you in the past is only teaching the next person how they can treat you. They know that you let others get away with treating you like that. Which is why it's important. Keep your mouth shut. Don't let people know how people treated you in the past. Okay? Like I said, I'm in my 20s living in the city. So dating is really just not what I expected it to be growing up here. I've traveled abroad in South Africa at the best time there. And that was one of the first times I was actually like exposed to men coming up to me and approaching me so i did have quite a few relationships there and i was able to be taken around to nice restaurants and bars and i was literally being courted and treated properly and i was just like wow is this what it's like to be in a relationship and then of course i went to brazil for a month and brazil's a whole nother story but honestly all those dating experiences just taught me that if a guy really wants to get to know you, he is going to go after you and he's going to put that effort into you. So when I see people complaining here like, oh, he's not texting back, he's not doing this. To me, it's just like, it's simple. He just is not interested in you because men naturally, it's in their DNA to go after what they want. A lot of men be like, oh, I'm not going to chase you. That's a feminine man. Okay. I'm not begging you to chase me. 
I don't want you to chase me. If you think you have to chase me, you're just not for me and that's fine. And I am not for you because personally me, I like when people approach me and put the effort and chase me. Of course, I'm going to give them the time of day. But then it comes to a point where I'm like, all right, if this is no longer working out, then I will let them know. But I feel like a lot of men here don't want to chase people because they think that if they chase you, they're investing into you. And then they bring up the conversation, oh, we wasted money. I wasted money taking you out. Dating should never be like that. And don't get me wrong. There is only a few men who have that mentality. A lot of men do not care. If they want to get to know women, money is not on their mind. And where's the fun in that? If you're going to go out and you're taking a woman out, make sure you actually like the woman. That way when you spend money on her, you're not like, oh, I wasted money. Because no, that's not how things should be. Like, it's okay. It's your loss. It's like playing chess. First of all, I haven't been dating for like months, years. Two years, no contact, not dating anyone, not getting to know anyone. Because I really just, I've had enough. And I was just like over it. And I was like, I really need to figure out what it is that I want. Focus on myself. And honestly, it's been a journey. I love it. And now I'm like, okay, I'm ready to get to know people. And as frustrating as it is, there's some interesting people that I'm meeting on the way. But as I'm going on more dates, I'm like so amazed with myself. Because I'm like, wow, like. Me, three years ago, I would have never seen any red flags with the situation I'm in. I would have been like, oh, that's fine. Like, yeah, that's nothing. But now, during certain situations, I'm on a date and like, say, for example, a guy's like, you know, asking me a question. In my head, I would be like, mm, no. And I, I would not be afraid to tell him no. I'd be like, no, that's not my style. You know, like I'm being more spoken and letting people know like where I stand in certain things and it's an amazing feeling. I think that's what growth is about. I hope you guys learned something here. If you have any questions or any tips for other women that are watching this video or other girls watching this video, make sure you comment down below. The girls help girls. And how will you know if your date is a red flag, if your girls are not telling you what to do? Okay, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram. It's Shadika Ari. And if you follow me, make sure you DM me so I know that you're coming from YouTube. Okay, bye.